Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. <laughs> Alright, if you guys guessed pozole last night, you guys are correct. Come through, guys. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best pozole. My twist. My take on it. Alright? Don't blink. Here we go, guys. My twist, my take on pozole. So, out of all my whole lifetime, I had pozole twice, and it was delicious. All I was thinking every time I ate pozole, I always wanted the meat to be seared a bit. So, I'm gonna do my twist, my take on it. All right, guys? You guys cool with that? Okay, three tablespoons of olive oil here. I got one whole pork shoulder here. Do this one big, beautiful pork shoulder here. I got half a tablespoon of salt. And a teaspoon of pepper. Our chili sauce. So guys, I was looking for some chili ancho, but I couldn't find any chili ancho. So I got these, uh, I think they are called pasilio, black pasilio. So all I'm gonna do, chop off the stems here. I have it rehydrating in this water here. So once I cut all the stems out, I'm gonna extract all that seed out of this. Or you can leave the seed, doesn't matter. To this, I got half an onion. I got a tablespoon of garlic here. I got half a tablespoon of ground cumin here. One teaspoon of oregano. Pop on the lid. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Once it's nice and blended, I want to add a little oil in this because I want to fry up those chilies. Just extract all that beautiful oil in there. Okay, once I got this nice and blended, I'm gonna toast this up a bit or fry this up a bit just because I want all that natural spices and oils just to be extracted. Once I got it nice, I toast it up guys. I know some people strain this, but I'm not. I'm just gonna throw the whole thing into five quarts of water here. To this stock, I'm gonna do two big heaping scoops of chicken bouillon, or chicken stock, or chicken powder. Now let's go three. Three heaping scoops to five quarts of water. Next to this, our seasoned seared pork shoulder into the pool guys. Next guys, I got a question for you guys. Are these harmony beans? Because we're not even sure. When I bought it dry, it looked like harmony beans, but when I rehydrated overnight, it kind of looks like corn nuts. <laughs> Is it harmony beans? I'm not even sure. I apologize if I got the wrong one, but I'm just gonna throw four cups of this rehydrate harmony beans in. And to this, I'm just gonna do, I wanna say half a tablespoon of salt. And we'll just taste and adjust in the end, all right? Take that beautiful Instant Pot lid there, cover this. Meat stew, let's do 50 minutes, guys. Now, let's do 40 minutes, lid on. Oh, how do you turn it? Oh, it's on already. Lid on, pump this. Then we do 20 minutes off the lid, or not off the lid, no lid. <laughs> 40 minutes in, lit up the air. Look at my kitty. Look at the peanut. Come here. Now I'm in a washroom break. Kitty just got up. I did. You know what's crazy about Kitty? Or Peanut? He always pee on Kitty's spot. So that's a weird thing. Everywhere Kitty pees, Peanut follows along. Alright, come on, let's go. Moment of truth. 40 minutes in, pozole. Wait, here's the thing, guys. I actually think I bought the wrong beans or the wrong corn. I'm not even sure. Looks delicious though. Oh man. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Now let this cook out for about 20 more minutes, guys, without the lid. Then we'll start serving. Wait, I wanna taste this broth first. See if I need more seasoning, all right? That's delicious. Oh man. That's perfect. I wanna say this, it does not have the bright red color as the pasole I've remembered, but it's tasty like it. You can taste the pasole in this. <laughs> I don't know. 20 minutes in, time to set this up. So, get a beautiful plate of bow. Scoop yourself some pasole. Best pozole I have ever made. <laughs> it was my first pozole I ever made. But you guys gotta try this and tell me how legit this is. Last touches to this. Shredded cabbage. Some 
lime. Some red radishes. Some thinly sliced onions. And that's it guys. Pozole. My twist, my take on, I want to say Mex, is it a Mexican comfort suit? Quick time guys. When are you guys going to come by? Alright, here it goes guys. Rate my pozole. Or is it pozolo? What if I was saying the whole time I was saying it wrong? Is it pozole or pozolo? <laughs> I don't know, I'm second guessing myself. So, okay. Pozole. I'll stick with pozole. I apologize if I said it wrong. I'm just going to mix this up. Get the cabbage in there. Okay. I had pozole twice. At this Latin, is it Latino? Latino grocery store and it was delicious. And I do remember the taste and it does taste exactly like it. I'm drooling. Are you drooling? <laughs> okay. Broth first. Quick time guys. Take the first sip of this. My twist, my take on the pasole. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Oh man. That's just perfect. Oh man. Okay. Everything. Quick time. That's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Best thing ever. <laughs> harmony beans. I think these are harmony beans. Good job. Nice. Pump for this. Oh man. I ain't gonna lie, the lime makes it. Gives us this nice little tang to it. Mm hmm. It's just beautiful. You know what I'm trying this? Beef necks in this. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Nice, rich, hearty on this cold day in Edmonton. When I eat this at the restaurant, guys, the meat wasn't brown. I'm not hating on it. But all I want to say is when you brown your meat, your broth just becomes nice and rich. Mmm. Next time guys, I want to buy a bunch of chilies. I want to see if I'm... Let's try mix four or five chilies in this. Would it be different? This right here right now is absolutely amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm just imagining four or five chilies in this.
Alright. This is what I'm gonna do. I wanna throw a little more broth in this. Cause it's amazing. <laughs> I am. Squeeze the more lime. Just a touch. I want some more onions in this. Cause I want onion breath after. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the Asian in me or what, but I feel like I want some rice in this. I don't know why. Just throw a little scoop of rice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is very good already. But I want some rice. I'm gonna be like, Juan. I can't believe you didn't put fish sauce in there. I was very close to putting fish sauce in there. <laughs> but you don't need it. This definitely is comfort food. Do you know what? If you have a Mexican mom or a Latino mom, I want you to cook this recipe for her and tell me what she thinks. <laughs> Take all credits, guys. If she likes it, take all credit. If she doesn't like it, still take all credit. <laughs> I'm not in the picture, right? Just make it for her. Mm hmm. What a blessing. Oh no. Look at that pork. Melt away. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your food and life's a beautiful thing. Check or a palm one. Like, share this. Peace out.